The Buddha, in the Diamond Sutra, says there is no reality to be found, and that is called Supreme Awakening. What does that mean? Reality, awakening, is beyond the dynamic subject-object. If we want reality, if we want awakening, if we want our true nature, we maintain a dynamic subject-object. But of course, that is only true from the other side of the wall. There is no two, there is just one. Reality flourishes on that side, and we are on that side. So we have to remember the key phrase from the Buddha, from Ramana Maharshi, from a number, from a number of philosophers who made that quantum leap from the two to the one. But where we are, we want freedom. We want to understand ourselves. Uh, the best drive for me was uh, what is consciousness? I want to understand what does it mean to be alive? And that's a strong drive. And of course, when you are well read and you did spend some time to study the philosopher and the mystic, you really see they are all pointing in the same direction. So they give you good maps, and those maps, at the right moment, will help you to step back and understand what is happening to you. Of course, there is no reality to be found, otherwise you'll have the two. But this reality has always known itself. This reality is beyond time, beyond space. We are locked in time and we are locked in space. So if we really have the desire to understand who we are, this desire can be sharp and really pushes us. If our desire to understand who we are was as strong as the desire a man who is drowning has to inhale hair, uh, we would make it very, very, very fast. Nothing is to be found. There is no two. But we live in the world of the two. We live in the world of what is me, and what is not me. But the moment we see we are absolutely not, because the perceived cannot perceive, as a thought cannot think, we understand that there is no reality to be found.